Good day, mates. How you going? Elf Lion Simba here, and welcome to another episode of Wonders from Down Under. Now, I've talked about a lot of fascinating marsupials in the past, but this time I'm going to talk about a lesser known one, and that is the ring-tailed possum. So, let's climb up to the trays and talk about it. You the intro. The ring-tailed possum is a native of northern, eastern, and extreme southwestern Australia and is widespread in Tasmania where it mainly lives in woodlands and dense forests. It thrives in brush, even in plantations and orchards near human settlements. There are pronounced climactic variations across the possum's range with northern rainforest giving way to temperate forest farther south. A fully grown ring-tailed possum weighs one and a half to two pounds. Its head and body is six to 20 inches long, while its tail is seven to 16 inches long. The first two digits of each forefoot are opposable, giving the opossum a firm grasp while it climbs. Its sharp claws may be used to defend a territory from intruders. And, like all possums, the ring-tailed possum's tail is prehensile, helping it to grasp onto branches while it forages. Like most possums, the ring-tailed possum is nocturnal and spends its days sleeping in a nest built in the trees. Unlike most Australian possums, it is a nest builder, while most species nest in tree holes, thickets, or burrows in the ground. Although a nest is usually built near the forest floor, a possum may construct its nest in clusters of mistletoe as high as 80 feet. In the wild, ring-tailed possums are herbivores. They eat eucalyptus leaves, fruit, flowers, and bark. Eucalyptus leaves contain high levels of toxins and rough cellulose. However, these elements of the leaf are broken down or removed by bacteria in part of the possum's gut. They also eat a fair amount of clay soil, which helps neutralize the toxins and provide essential minerals. The ring-tailed possum's breeding season varies from late summer in Queensland to winter in the more temperate south. Female ring-tailed possums have one to three joeys at a time, but usually have two. She gives birth in the shelter of the nest after a short gestation period of about two to three weeks. Each newborn continues its growth within its mother's pouch. After 16 to 18 weeks, it leaves the pouch and is carried on its mother's back. The baby possum's diet consists mainly of milk, although as it matures, it begins to eat increasing quantities of plant matter. The young possum becomes independent between eight months and a year old. At that point, it sets off to find its own territory. Females reach maturity at one year old, while males reach maturity at one to two years old, and ring-tailed possums can live to be four to five years old. 
The ring-tailed possum is classified as least concern and has a stable population in the wild. Well, that was it. My Wonders from Down Under episode on the ring-tailed possum. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave requests in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Alpha Lion Simba, out.